Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. here because this this is the thing we were talking about why I wasn't around why I haven't been around like I I know the phone conversations I had with who I had and I and and I've just left it there and I'm saying if if I'm not gonna be booked there's no sense in me being in the way and so, you don't got love for Bella no more oh no I absolutely will and I do and I will continue like one monkey don't stop the show what I'm saying is, if, if if I'm not gonna be active over there, then let me just step aside. You go ahead on with your other talent. It ain't just like we're not. I still have a a, a battle on on paper to do what you are really like. Reasons that, that you can't control that. why you're not yeah. active over there. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. All right, we got we got a whole ass interview being conducted here. Can the man get his point off real quickly, nicely and succinctly, and then afterwards we can ask questions if he likes entertainment. I have this on you. No, I'm saying there's definitely it's definitely reasons. You know, I, I spoke with who I needed to speak with. I know what's going on. Um, you know, like about the same thing I told them. Look, I'll step out the way. You know what I mean? Let me let me finish up when I need to finish up and I'll move out the way. And that's just where I'm at with it. I, I stand on that. Because there's a lot of things that go on that has been going on. And you know me, I don't I don't complain too much. I don't, you know, be ranting and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just be like, right, I roll with the punches because I'm I'm appreciative of what's been happening in my career. But in terms of time, man, you just gotta stop playing with grown folks like that. Like I just I just feel like I need to step out step out the way because I I, I don't want it to be a disrespectful situation. I, I don't have no problems with those guys or nothing like that. It's just I just don't feel like that's what's best for me right now. I'm a, I wanna finish up what, what I got going on over there and then I'm gonna move out the way. That's it. What do you you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. But don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Yeah, yeah, man. Follow me on the motherfucking gram. You know my shit on fire, so man. I think it's playing, man. Follow a nigga, man. What up? Yeah. Fire underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You listen it slow. Salute to all the battle rappers out there. It comes a time. It definitely comes a time. What time is that? This is actually kind of like breaking news, or this is like an exclusive, or this is new. Um, Av is talking about doing his own thing, moving out, exploring, soil his royal oats, going into the world, and basically being a free agent in battle rap. And I'm gonna break down every round that I've sketched out. Av did comment on this. I did see a post from Let's Talk Battle Rap yesterday saying that, you know, Av appreciated everything that the URL had did for him to this point in his career. But it was time for him to step out on his own. Uh, he said he talked to who he needed to talk to. And I didn't hear the whole spaces with Doc Petty and them. Salute to all the spaces. I, I my nigga, I, I, be, I got kids, I got job, I got businesses, I got construction going on, you know what I'm saying? Project being built at my crib. I don't got time to be sitting this back. I'll never, like, I just don't. I, 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 it's just something I'm, I don't have the time for. But salute to everybody who does, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of good dialogue, a lot of good conversations, do come out of this and a lot of uh, sound bites come out of this and I do have one somebody did send me a sound bite from the conversation that's why I said salute to all the individuals involved in the beginning of this joint because I don't got time to listen to the shit but I do got time to listen to the playback but salute to every one of y'all um and Ab basically commented saying that he spoke who he needed to speak to I, I'm gonna break down my version of what I'm thinking he's talking about and that, you know, I'm going to get out of the way if I'm not going to be in the itinerary or if I'm not in the program. Look, I'm, I'm, I have no political ties to anyone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. Uh, you, know, it, you know, sometimes I'll get a favor. They might throw me an exclusive, might throw me a battle. Might, who knows? You know what I'm saying? But I try to keep it as uh, down the middle as possible. What this seems like to me. This seems like Av is not getting the looks that he wants. I've been stated this a while ago. I said there's no reason why now Av shouldn't have battled people like Averb, and I could name about five others that he has not battled. Uh, he's watched people come into the URL after him or around the same time as him who have been shot to the sky. It is very hard to be staying on a team and staying down for the cause when you see other people's jerseys and other people's numbers getting called before yours. Now, is this all URL's fault? Absolutely not. Is it all Av's fault? Absolutely not. Um, I've been a fan of Av for quite some time. I stated this 
And I don't know if y'all knew this. I said this before. Uh, Av is the reason why I started blogging. What? Yeah, he is. He literally is. Now, he didn't get, like, say, go, nigga, go blog or no shit like that. But I always had a love for battle rap, and I had watched, and I'm gonna get back to uh, my thoughts on him, but you know, you, you listen to this. And like I said, I don't blog enough, here it goes. So I was watching Av vs. None None, right? And this was years ago, like five, six years ago. Um, and I had seen, you know, I had seen punches before, like Conceited and like Be, Be Magic and other, you know, world renowned punchline artists. And when I seen Av, it was refreshing. You know what I'm saying? I still remember the verse that made me like, no, nah, I got, I don't, I don't, I got to talk about this shit. He said the rounds that I brought for this clown, three minute kind. Put the full five to the square. Speed limit sign. Catch him getting in his ride. I let off that black heater, and all you gonna see is a body by the rim like a shack sneaker. I was like, yo, I'll be back, man. I gotta get a fucking camera. I don't know what. And like, I ain't even know what the fuck I was doing. I got blogs that got 200 views, and I got blogs that got 200,000 views. That's another thing, my nigga. So y'all always stay committed and stay on your grind because you never know when that shit gonna take off. I've been loved, I've been hated, all that shit. But guess what? I'm still here, and I'm doing bigger and better, and I don't have no fucking boss. Like, no nigga can't ever tell me what to do. That's the pro. That be the. That's a benefit, and it's a problem, because niggas will love you, and they will hate you, because nigga can't tell you what to do. But. That's another motherfucking story. Um, so, Av is getting to the point where it's like he wants to, you know, he's gonna go out there and explore and do it on his own. I said yesterday, before I even had context, I'm not mad at that. Go get your bag, Av. All you battle rappers are contractors. And like Hov said, my motto, you only good to the last nigga, you only good as the last nigga you killed. And the reason why they're passing you is because they see potential in other people. A nigga don't leave, like, 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 the URL is like a nigga who got mad hoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga not gonna focus on one broad when he been with somebody else, and I ain't calling you niggas broad. They're not gonna focus on one situation more unless they feel like that situation has more to offer. When somebody's hot, they gonna roll with that. Easy the Black Captain's hot, they rolling with that. Geechee Gotti been hot, they rolling with that. Now, you might get to battle these niggas, but they not gonna put the same program behind you. And... I've said from the beginning, I felt like Av is a dope MC. I felt like he needed to do a little more. He did it versus Real Sick. He's done it in some other battles. But he showed immense star power versus Chess. You know what I'm saying? Like, he showed a lot of star power in a lot of the earlier battles. Him versus Rum Nitty. Uh, you know, fucking 30 under the 40. That's the improper fraction. Uh, Pump that whip and beat the foul out shit and point the full fifth at the back of the head. is out. Foul. I was there for um, Av versus Rum Nitty. And I do feel like that battle was the beginning of the revolution of the small rooms coming to the big stages, like like that that small room sensation, that volume series, and all of them. Them um, born legacies, born legacy two with that battle on there with uh, Cortez versus Chilla Jones, Rum Nitty versus Av. Uh, I think Bangs battle Jerry West. Like, cause so I know nigga, a lot of niggas be like, yo, why you don't be at every event? I'm like, my nigga. When you've been to years and years and years and years of events, if you never go to another one, you're not missing anything. You know what I'm saying? And events do cost a lot. You gotta get a hotel, you gotta get a food, you gotta get a rental car, you gotta be outside, you gotta smoke, you gotta drink, you gotta stay on your feet for eight hours, and yada yada yada. SP just went to Summer Madness. And I'm sure I'll be back going to some events, but nigga, even when I do, don't expect to see me at every event because I can cut my camera on right after an event and recap everything from the from the comfort of my home and then go right back to my kids and be there you know what i'm saying my kids lives is very important to me and i work all week you know what i'm saying so i'm working all week when i do get a weekend i be trying to spend time with them i don't be trying to spend time with no niggas you know what i'm saying i know my mother be like yo you scared nigga i ain't scared of shit i promise you that but nigga put his hands on me <laughs> it's gonna be a long night so i ain't worried about that it just be the timing and everything so i did i was at av versus uh Rum Nitty, and like I said, I say that to say that that was one of the best small room battles I ever seen. The MOP, anti up, and all of those moments like that. But I feel like, personally, and I fuck with that, a lot of his biggest and best moments, they already happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not gonna super, you're not gonna beat a Rum Nitty battle. You're not gonna beat uh, the chess battle. Like, those are fucking certified classics that came out on YouTube. So, you know, it's hard. It's a hard axe to grind when you want more, but the battles aren't equal enough. Like he battled DNA, that wasn't really a great battle. 
Um, he battled some other people. They they were okay, but they the URL they be looking for superstars. Them niggas be looking for niggas like that they can put on the Super Bowl and put on fucking billboards and all this other shit. They be looking for them niggas. And when they see that superstar power, bro, easy to block captain got more battles in one year than all of them niggas that came in with Av except for Geechee. Like the Mike P's, the uh fucking Jerry West's Av, all them niggas. He got more battles in one year. So the money is there and the opportunities is there. It's just we don't feel like you deserve it. That's the reason why, basically. We don't feel like you can return this or you are a superstar enough for us to give you hollow and to give you these niggas. Like they was gonna put Easy the Black Captain versus Murder Moot. Nigga, that nigga was booked for that shit. Like, that shit was on a fucking car. They printed that shit out and said, man, we don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. Book this shit. They not doing that with every... Niggas is not fucking doing that with everybody. And for a nigga like Av, at this point in his career, I'm not mad at him taking it into his own hands. But what I will say is this. Um, he's been doing better. Like he had a caffeine show, or has a caffeine show, it's straight like that joint. He's been doing the music and shit like that. Uh, he even hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Like he wanted, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple bars there. I might do a mixtape one day. Who fucking knows? And uh, you know, I, that's my man, so I, you know, I rock with him. But um, and he was on the um, top tier remix. I ain't even want to be in this. All you fucking beginners. Like he was, he's fire. He can flow. He got good music. But I felt like the promotion. And the self-promotion and the marketing and just being around and viable every day to your fan base is important. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's important while you build a brand to be out there to have merchandise. A nigga like Easy and a nigga like Geechee, they've done it. They got clothing, they got shows, they got radio, they got music. Niggas is covering all the, all the aspects of battle rap. Some niggas, they only cover one. They just battle and go home. Like, a nigga like Ill Will is one of the dopest MCs in the fucking world. But you couldn't tell me where that nigga is at. That nigga will battle and you won't see that nigga for seven months until he battles again. That's not enough for people to invest big, big money and big, big corporations in you. They want somebody who they gonna know is pounding the pavement every day trying to build their brand. And you all just got different niggas in mind. They got Easy to Block Captain in mind. Geechee's still in mind. They got uh, Kid Slade now. They got a bunch of new niggas. <laughs> you niggas can still be on the team, but these niggas is the ones that we starting is the way that the coaches is looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still on the team. Niggas like the Riders and all these other niggas. Y'all be on the team, but these are the niggas that we started. Period. There was a, a run where Drugs was getting better battles than after could get. He got Danny, he got Rum Nitty twice, he got mad battles and shit. Ab wasn't getting those type of looks. Hell no. I don't know why. No knock on none of the MCs that I just named, but Av wasn't really in the plans. I do hope it works out for him, whatever he chooses to do. But Av is basically saying that uh, it's about time.